Hey, look at this website I built. It even has a collection list of my blog posts and it's fully responsive. Fully responsive. Fully responsive. How can I fix this? Well, I could use a Webflow slider, but the issue is nobody likes the built-in sliders. I like the Webflow slider component. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. The solution is actually super simple to build, very user-friendly, and clients love it. I've asked, they love it. It looks like this. It's still a slider, but less janky. Let's build it. In the Webflow Designer, let's add a new section. Okay, now that we've got all the styling done, here's what we're left with. This is the grid, and then as you size it down, it looks good until we get to about, so tablet even looks okay, and then once we get to landscape, it starts getting pretty tight. So how you do it is actually really, really simple. We're gonna go to our landscape, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my new section, I'm gonna add a new div block, I'm gonna add it above the collection list wrapper, I'm gonna add my scroller, we'll call it my scrolly boy div. And then what I'm gonna do with this, this is basically gonna be the thing that is scrolling left and right, so the only thing we really need to do is add auto to it. It doesn't change anything because the collection list is still the same size, it hasn't changed size. We need the collection list wrapper to actually be bigger than the scrolly boy div container. So we can do that by calling this our scrolly collection wrapper. And then you can change it to whatever width you want. So let's say I want it to be 800 width, uh, pixel width, then maybe a little bit wider. So we'll call it a thousand pixel width. And what that does is it creates this scroll bar here on the bottom for my scrolly boy div. And that's really all there is to it. Um, there's some spacing and padding adjustments and tweaks you can make if you want to, but that's really the whole the whole thing. What I like to do is I like to have this blog post be about three fourths of the size of the screen width. That way they can see that there's more if they want to scroll right. One other thing that I like to do is I like to add some CSS and that way we can change the color. Like if we see here on the finished product, we can see the pink and the blue. So I'm going to add some CSS to be able to add that as well. I'm going to go to my settings and we've got it right here. So scroll bar, we can change the width to, we can change the scroll bar track background color and the scroll bar thumb background color. Um, and we can also add some outlines and stuff like that if we want to. So if we publish out this new page and we can see it looks great on the published website. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.